Billy, I would like for you, because you haven't been at a microphone for a very long time, to welcome you back because you're in full yammering mode and we're a bit crowded today. Uh, Please go to the therapy couch. I've been told it's been reinstalled. It's been fixed out there. Mm. We got it. We wrestled it away from ESPN. Go to the therapy couch and go talk to the therapist about whatever it was on vacation, uh, how you were uh, wronged or where it is that you were hurt or where the show failed you and uh, get it all out so that you can feel better about yourself and about the fact that the therapy couch is now back in play. And then all of a sudden, Stugatz every day was like, hey, buddy, enjoy your vacation. I don't want to talk to you anymore. And then next day, I'd get yet another call from him saying, hey, we got Jake Plummer. We got to record with him tomorrow. And I'd be like, okay, but can someone else do it? Because I'm on vacation. And every day he's like, no, no, enjoy your vacation. I'm not going to talk to you anymore. But the next day, I'd get another call and then another call. And I got to be honest with you. I don't understand why I'm holding this microphone with a mic flag on it, Doc, if this was supposed to be just between me and you. It's a bit strange. And I feel like maybe you're not the only one that can hear what's going on. But yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, can I just enjoy my family time, you know, my time away? And I was like, no. You can't expect me to sing a song on Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Can you get us on Kimmel? <laughs> if anybody's listening, I'll sing out if there, you get us on Kimmel. If you I'm guys there. are booking musical acts for your late night talk shows, or if you may have some famous friends in Hollywood with a lot of influence that may know some other talk show hosts quite personally, please let them know that we are open for business. I'm talking Daily Show, I'm talking Fallon. I'm talking. <clears throat> no, I'm not talking that dude with the car- carpool karaoke is where I draw the line. You're not willing to do Dan, that? Dan, no. Dan, Dan, if you're not going to do it, I'll sing your part. Nothing stops the NFL! LA! I think we, uh, we'd we be doomed. I don't think that this would help us, our chances of winning anything here. Wait a minute, it's the walk of fame. <laughs> but it's not a big game. But the traffic is bad on the prey, Come on, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's about how I expect it to go. I helpfully talk about lay of the land, and then I leave, and they're angry, and it's like, why? It's like, just say no sometimes, Billy. You can do it, but I can't because time comes, and I freeze up, and I just always say yes to things. Even if I want the answer, it'll always be no. And I don't know how to get out of these things, but I really don't remember the words to the song. And then I remember they were talking about selling the album. I was like, oh, wow, maybe I'm going to get something on the back end of that. And then I didn't sign anything, but here we are selling songs that I sang in. And who do I talk to? I don't have an agent. Should I look into an agent? Like who represents?